Most of the time when I write a book, I'm on the other side of whatever issue I'm tackling. So when I wrote Uninvited, I thought I was writing from the vantage point of looking back at past rejections to admit that they were still affecting me so that I could learn to really heal. Well, I had no idea that the words I wrote in this book last year would be a pure gift from God I desperately needed this year. I have spent many nights recently curled up with the rough draft of the pages of Uninvited, thanking God through my tears for the healing balm this message has poured over my soul. You know, rejection, it isn't just a complicated emotion. It's an utter devastation of what we thought was real and safe and secure. Rejection steals the best of who I am by reinforcing the worst that's been said to me. And here's the deal. Rejection affects us all way more than we'd like to admit. We're all either trying to heal from past rejection, reeling from a present rejection, or fearing that an unexpected rejection is just around the corner. I don't know what hard reality is crushing your heart right now or has hurt you in the past, but I sense that I'm not alone. The enemy is on a full out attack against everything good, sacred, pure, and honest. He is the father of lies and he wants you to believe that you are left out, lonely, and less than. Don't believe his toxic deception. Satan is a good liar, but take it from a woman who has wrestled with him and his lies. The truth is our God is a redeemer, a healer, the author of hope, the pathway to restoration, and he's inviting you in, and so am I. Come with me on a journey of finding the acceptance and love you've always longed for and start to pick up the pieces that maybe you've been trying to put back together for years. Through the pages of Uninvited, you'll laugh, cry, and best of all, discover that with Jesus, you are safe, forever accepted, forever held, completely loved, and always invited in.